so uh, in today's class we are going to look into the table setup we have already now covered in our chapters the different type of cutlery crockery glassware then the table cloth the napkins that is the linen that has been used so we we are now aware about all the things that are being uh, used for a table setup okay and as you can see on the screen this is a table setup of a uh, one person okay now generally this setup is done on the basis of the menu that is being to be served okay when i say menu that means the different dishes that are going to be served like whenever you go for a function or a wedding you always have a sequence in which the menu is been placed on the buffet or maybe it has been served to you like for example at the start you will have some kind of starters then you will have a soup then you will have main course and then you will have a sweet dish to ye ek normal sequence hai jisme cheeze aapko serve ki jati so similarly on a table when there is a particular setup there is a particular way in this in which each and every cutlery that you can see is been placed each and every glassware or the napkin has a place on the table and that is what is very important when you are doing the table setup as you can see this napkin that has been placed over here okay it has been placed on the left hand side okay generally you will have a quarter plate okay or a bnb plate on the left hand side okay right now over here in this image you can you can see the napkin is been placed over here on the left hand side in the center you have a big your dinner plate okay and this cutlery that has been placed that also is been placed in a specific manner always remember that the spoon and the knife is being placed on the right hand side okay so if you see the spoon and knives are placed on the right hand side and the forks are on the left hand side so you always have to remember this that the knife and the spoon is on the right hand side and the fork is on the left hand side also the glasses okay if you see this water glass that has been placed over here okay the water glass is always placed on the right hand side so for your understanding always remember that the liquids i hope you understand liquids let it be water let it be any alcoholic beverage or non alcoholic beverage or for that matter tea coffee okay so i will just generalize the term as beverages or for your understanding liquids will be always placed on the right hand side of the guest okay so you can see over here on the screen there's this water glass next to it you have a red wine glass then you have a white wine glass here you have a cup and saucer everything is on the right hand side so that's the reason i said that all the liquids or beverages are going to be on the right hand side and on the left hand side you will always place the solids so you can see a bread plate over here so you always if you see even in a indian table setup you will always have a quarter plate on your left hand side okay okay where you're going to place your uh, roti naan bread ye sab solid hai solid form mein hai to wo aapke left hand side pe hoga and over here on top you can see a spoon and a fork this is called the dessert indicator okay it's called the dessert indicator so because it's going to be used after completion of your entire food matlab main course khatam hone ke baad after you complete your main course this spoon the spoon which is placed over here is going to be pulled down yahan pe and ye jo fork hai this will be pulled down to the left hand side at that time on the table all these things will not be there kyunki aapka khana ho chuka hai to ye sab cheeze clear kiye jayenge aur ye spoon और फोक को 
नीचे लाया जाएगा ठीक है तो ये आपके बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग के लिए मैंने ये डायग्राम दिखाया है बिकॉज सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स एटलीस्ट दैट ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड यू हैव द स्पून एंड द नाइफ एंड ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड यू हैव द फोक नाउ द वे इट इज बीन प्लेस्ड ओके द स्पून द नाइफ द फोक्स जिस तरह से प्लेस किया जाता है ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दे आर प्लेस फ्रॉम आउटसाइड टू इन ये डायरेक्शन ये वाले डायरेक्शन में बाहर की तरफ से अंदर की तरफ ये भी बाहर की तरफ से अंदर की तरफ मतलब पहले जब आप जो भी जब भी आप खाना खा रहे हो सो यू आर गोइंग टू पिक अप द कटलरी विच इज ऑन दी आउटसाइड जो सबसे बाहर है उसे आप यूज करेंगे पहले ठीक है तो जैसे अभी यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं कि एक सूप स्पून रखा है बाहर की तरफ मतलब आप ये जजमेंट लगा सकते हैं कि खाने में सबसे पहले सूप आने वाला है so that is going to be soup where that is going to be served that's why the soup spoon is been placed towards the outside maybe uske baad salad aane wala hai to then they have placed a salad fork okay to jis hisab se jo menu mein serve kiya jata hai us hisab se cutlery is going to be placed so cutlery is placed from outside to inside outside to inside to aap jab use bhi karoge khane ke liye तो यहां बाहर से अंदर की तरफ बाहर से अंदर की तरफ तो आपके एंड में जो अभी मेन कोर्स खाने वाले यहां पे आप देख सकते हो यू कैन सी द डिनर नाइफ एंड द डिनर फोक ओके सो मे बी मेन कोर्स में जो भी सर्व हो रहा है उसमें आपको नाइफ और फोक की जरूरत पड़ने वाली है तो इसलिए सबसे अंदर की तरफ आपके मेन कोर्स के लिए डिनर फोक और डिनर नाइफ रखा गया है ओके सो एज ए मैं स्टार्ट एज पर वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी सर्व उस हिसाब से आपको कटलरी रखना है दैट इज द रीजन वेन वी लर्न द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कटलरी यू शुड बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड देन एज पर द मेनू यू शुड बी एबल टू डू द टेबल सेटअप सो इफ यू नो द कटलरी इफ यू हैव डन योर असाइनमेंट इफ यू नो ईच एंड एवरी कटलरी फॉर वॉट पर्पज इट इज गोइंग टू बी यूज देन इट विल बिकम वेरी इजी फॉर यू टू डू द टेबल सेटअप also another thing you need to observe whenever the there is no any other beverages that are going to be served for example like wine ya juice ya kuch bhi aur kuch bhi pani ko chhod ke aur bhi kuch bhi agar serve nahi ho raha hai to in that case this water glass or you also call it as a water goblet will be placed over here on top of the spoon uh, knife right hand side tip of the knife ke upar yahan pe राइट right साइड को प्लेस किया जाएगा आपको दिख रहा है वो रेड डॉट जहां पे मैं मार्क कर रहा हूं दैट इज अ प्लेस वेर द वॉटर विल बी प्लेस्ड अगर बाकी के चीजें सर्व नहीं की जा रही है तो ओनली इन दैट केस ठीक है सो अप टिल नाउ वॉट एवर इज देयर ऑन द स्क्रीन आई थिंक सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इट वेरी क्लियरली एंड देर इज नथिंग मच टू Uh, actually understand from that if you know the cutlery and its purpose you will be able to set up the table as per the menu so what we'll do is i will show a video now to you and that is the entire setup of a table so you need to observe uh, what is happening in the video okay table a square table we have learned about the table where the table where where we learned about the furniture a square table so we are going to look into how to lay the table cloth so you need to look into how she is holding the table cloth she will show it once again you need to use your fingers and then you spread it forward make sure that all the sides have to be equal whenever you are setting up a table cloth so all the sides have to look equal and the ironing mark has to come in the center jo fold mark hota hai wo center mein aana chahiye 
then you have a flower vase which has to come in the center of the table along with the salt and pepper which is called as the cruet set salt and pepper aur uske sath aap ek butter dish bhi rakh sakte hai only in case when you are going to be serving a bread roti naan jo bhi hai agar wo serve kiya ja raha hai tabhi aap butter dish rakhenge then you have the napkin <coughs> There are various ways in which the napkin can be folded. This particular napkin fold is known as the coxcomb, which we will learn in the next class. So this napkin is generally placed in the center of the cover where the guest is going to be seated. This is a B and B plate, which is going to be kept on the left hand side of the guest. So you can see she is placing the BNB plate on the left hand side. Always remember the BNB plate has to be placed on the left hand side where you are going to place the bread or maybe your roti naan whatever is there in your menu. Make sure that the distance of the plate that has been placed has to be at least 3 fingers from the border of the table so she is checking the distance everything has to be equidistant you cannot just place it any way you have to measure the distance from the border of the table and place the bnb plate or the side plate and this is a bnb knife or you can also place a side knife on the bnb plate The use of this particular knife is to spread the butter onto the bread or any other particular Indian breads like for example your roti or naan it can be used to spread the butter on the bread Then you have the water goblet as mentioned to you that it will be placed on the right hand side of the guest So you can see she is placing on the right hand side where a particular cover is been laid on the right hand side the water goblet is been placed <coughs> Everything has to be placed in a proper way Now she is placing a dinner fork and a dinner knife as i mentioned to you that the knife is placed on the right hand side the knife and the spoon is placed on the right hand side and the fork is placed on the left hand side now the distance that she took between the fork and the knife is a distance of a dinner plate that can be easily placed where the napkin fold is been kept Also you need to make sure that whenever you are placing the cutlery on the table the cutlery has to be from a distance of at least one finger from the border of the table so you can see that she is measuring look at that uh, she is using a finger to measure the distance do not keep the cutlery on the edge of the table it has to be from at least one finger distance away from the border of the table now she is placing a soup spoon so that means there is going to be something a soup dish is going to be served before the main course so that comes on the outer side of the knife so spoon is on the right hand side and you are placing a soup spoon so soup spoon you know you you can easily identify it now she is placing a dessert spoon fork and a knife maybe probably before before the soup they are going to have some kind of a sweet dish that is going to be served in the menu that's the reason they are keeping a dessert fork and as a dessert knife as i mentioned to you that it all depends on what menu is going to be served so as per that you should be able to 
serve the or place the cutlery but the basics has to be right always fork on the left hand side knife and spoon on the right hand side now she is placing the dessert spoon and the dessert fork which is going to be used after finishing your meal as i had shown you on the first image there was a dessert spoon and dessert fork kept on the top which i had mentioned to you that's called as a dessert indicator which will be brought down after you finish your main course so that's why it has been placed on top so that after you complete your food it will be pulled down the fork will come on the left hand side and the spoon will go on the right hand side now if you look at the table from the top just look at the table it looks so beautiful and that is how a table setup has to be so if you look at this table each and everything is been placed in such a proper way everything is been placed equidistant from each other and when you have a look at this it looks so systematic and so beautiful so whenever the guest comes into the restaurant this entire appearance makes gives him or her a complete different experience so that is why the entire table setup is an important factor whenever you are laying the cover or setting up the table because the appearance creates a first impression in the guest mind so when you look at this entire setup it looks so attractive and so systematic that anyone will want to come and sit down and have his meal or her meal at the table